What's going on guys? My name is Christian and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Dodge Challenger Demon once again. So if you saw my original video, uh, it was early on when Dodge had released only a few videos about the Demon. Not much was known. A lot of it was just speculation. And uh, I'll link that video somewhere here so you guys can uh, go take a look at that. It actually did really, really well and I appreciate you guys for watching it. But now it's been uh, quite some time since then and Dodge has released, I think, a total of seven teaser videos on the Demon. So obviously if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're familiar with the Demon. And uh, Dodge has been releasing videos every week, uh, anywhere from like 20 to 40 second teaser videos on the Demon. And I'll link their YouTube channel in the description as well as the Demon's like website where they've been re releasing all their uh, videos and information. So you can go check those out below from the source if you guys wish to do so. So in my last video I touched on a few things, but in this video I'm going to go on everything that we know so far. Every video that Dodge has posted I'm going to kind of go uh, a little bit into and just give you guys my two cents as well as uh, anything that I've heard from multiple different videos and forum posts and stuff like that. So if we look at the very first video that uh, Dodge posted and it was titled Reduction. So this shows the demon getting on to uh, a scale, what it looks like, and the needle going down as far as weight goes. This shows us that the demon will be lighter. I'm not entirely sure how much lighter, but this was something that I uh, addressed in my first demon video. I was showing that hopefully it was gonna be lighter because that's one problem that the Hellcats have had uh, in Dodge vehicles in general is just that they're so heavy. So maybe they're going for uh, a different type of body. Maybe they're gonna step away from like this, the steel body that they've been pretty much doing. Uh, maybe more aluminum, carbon fiber, who knows. Um, but it's nice to see that this will be a lighter car. So if you go to the next video that Dodge posted, and that's titled Body. So in this video, you get a nice shot of uh, the rear of the car, which shows the wider fenders. This car will have a complete wide, wide body. It's kind of fact now, uh, wider rear fenders as well as wide, wider front fenders, which allows for a bigger tire, which allows for more traction. That was also another problem that the Hellcat was having is that it had a lot of power and a lot of pull once it got to speed and got traction, but off the line, the stock tires were just not enough uh, to hold 700 horsepower. I mean, this car almost has the same width tires that that does, and this has like 440 wheel right now. So they definitely needed to address that, which I'm glad they did. So if you go to the next video, it's titled Crate. And in this video, you see uh, a man taking various different tools out of this crate, one of which is a jack, another looks to be a torque wrench, and another is a power tool, obviously used to take lug nuts off the car. So uh, a couple different things, I've read a couple different things regarding what this video means as far as the crate goes, because in the ending shot, you get a nice, picture of the crate um, which I'm thinking personally if you look into the one of the future videos which I'll get to in a second the car comes with drag radials and that's no secret now um, I'm thinking as far as crate goes because it shows all the necessary tools to uh, remove wheels and mount wheels again I'm thinking that maybe whenever the radials uh, are worn out you can just have a tire Dodge will offer some kind of uh, program or something where you could buy more tires from Dodge, and this is kind of their way of uh, the crate is their like form of getting new tires for the car. Um, that's the only thing I can really think of. I'm not entirely sure. A lot of speculation has been going on on that video. Some have been saying that uh, possibly it will come with street tires, and crate is saying that maybe um, the radials are like an option. You can put them on when you go to the track, but it runs on street tires. I'm not entirely sure, but I guess we'll see in the future. So if, go, if you go to the next video, you, it's titled Forced Induction, and this car is obviously supercharged, that's kind of known. Uh, it shares the same supercharger and engine, presumably, as the Hellcat, just with more power. And that leads me into work to the power numbers. We're not entirely sure, nothing is confirmed how much power this car is making. Me, personally, I'm thinking anywhere from the 8 to 850 range, because right now, obviously, the Hellcat makes 707, and I don't think it would really be worth it for Dodge to increase by maybe like 40 horsepower to go through all of this effort and this like awesome like uh, reveal that they've been doing to give it maybe like 40 more horsepower. It doesn't make too much sense to me. I've seen some people say as much as a thousand. I think that's a little too much for like a production street car. So I'm thinking probably around 800, 850. Again, nothing's confirmed. So just my uh, speculation, but I think that sounds about right. In this video, you get also a nice shot of the cold air intake. This car will come uh, 
in stock with a cold air intake, as well as in I shot through the intake manifold into the supercharger. So, uh, like I said, obviously this car is supercharged, but what's cool in this video and at the end is you see what looks like a uh, Demon logo with air grabber around it. So it looks like a trademarked kind of like badge, because obviously the Hellcat has the intake through the light, which allows uh, one of the headlights, which allows for obviously uh, more airflow. Hellcat needs for that supercharger. So with this air grabber, cold air intake, and at the end you see this little black intake. Now it's unclear of where this intake is, if it's uh, on the like inside of the engine bay or if it's below the car, we're not entirely sure, but nonetheless it will allow for better airflow to the supercharger. So if we look at the next video, it's titled Multiplication, and in this video you get a nice shot of the drag radials that this car will have. Um, so, no secret that this car is coming factory with drag radials or maybe street tires with drag radials being an option, but the drag radials look awesome nonetheless on this car. They have a nice etched demon uh, face logo uh, into the side of the tires, which is awesome. And one thing I thought about this whenever I saw this video is if you are heavily tracking this car, which you should be if you have one or when you get one, uh, you're going to run out of tires. You're going to need more tires because that tread won't last forever. So because this is like kind of like a custom tire with the Demon etched onto it, diehard fans will want that tire every single time. You know, they're not going to want, um, not going to want just like kind of like an after, not aftermarket, but other tire, they're going to want the Demon tire. So I'm hoping Dodge, um, accounts for this and offers some kind of like program or like system where you can buy the same exact tires over and over again. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I guess we'll see. So the next and final video that Dodge has released is titled Third Law. Um, obviously probably pertaining to the third law of motion, but in this video you see um, the suspension highlighted, which shows us that it's probably going to have some form of upgraded suspension, whether that be for handling or just like dampening as you're uh, on the track. Uh, making for a better launch but in this video you see a nice nice shot of the rear of the challenger on a drag strip and this was probably the most intriguing video to me because in this video uh, you see behind the tires of the car and something that i feel like some people missed um, there is written 13.5 or 13.0 equals 575 at 500. So there's been a lot of speculation what these numbers mean, if this is um, like any kind of like timing or power numbers or anything like that. So I've watched several different um, videos and forum, read several different forum posts regarding to what this means. And originally whenever I looked at it for the first time, I was thinking, oh, 13.5. Uh, quarter mile time, but that obviously doesn't make any sense because the Hellcat runs tens. So the fact that a Demon would run significantly higher than that in 13 and a half seconds is ridiculous. Obviously, that's not correct. So after skimming through various forum posts, I uh, read something that the Hellcat makes 11 pounds of boost at uh, I think idle is what it said, but 11 pounds of boost. So. Uh, someone commented, and I'll try to find this comment and put it in the video to give that guy credit if I can find it, but he commented saying that the Hellcat makes 11 pounds of boost and the 13.5 or 13.0 may be uh, relating to the amount of boost the Demon makes. So more boost, more power, obviously. So I think that's a pretty, uh, pretty viable option that made sense to me, and that's why I thought I'd include it in this video. Um, and the next thing you see is the 575 at 500. So this guy also posted the same guy saying that the Hellcat makes 525 uh, pound feet of torque at idle at 500 RPM is what I believe the, uh, the comment said. Which if the Hellcat makes 525, maybe the Demon makes 575 torque at idle at 500 RPM, which would make sense. Uh, power wise, I'd probably correlate. Still not entirely sure what kind of uh, power it will be making, but that gave you a little bit of an insight, which leads me to, to hope that Dodge will release some more information regarding power soon here, because that's pretty much everybody's biggest curiosity is what power, what power. We pretty much know what the thing's going to look like. It's going to have a bigger uh, air intake on the top, bigger hood scoop, allowing more air. It's going to have the air grabber, cold air intake, supercharged, wide body, um, comes with drag radials, you know. So from the rear, it looks pretty much the same as a uh, as a Hellcat, just with the wider fenders. But everybody's biggest question is what power is it making? And I hope Dodge in the next video, which should be coming in two or three more days, 
I hope Dodge releases some kind of information regarding power or times or something like that because that's what everybody's just itching to see. Um, nonetheless, top-notch job uh, for Dodge for releasing this car this way. It's definitely had of having a lot of people like anticipate the release of the Demon, how they're kind of throwing bits and pieces out there. Awesome from like a marketing standpoint to get people uh, interested in this Demon because everybody's just it's like a cliffhanger like each video you just want to know what's next what's next what's next and that's awesome that people are so excited of what this car is going to have and i think any kind of high-end car like that should be released this way it's just much more intriguing um getting like teased every single time but yes yeah, so that's pretty much all we know so far let me know let me know in the comments below what you guys think the demon's going to have if you argue any of my points some of my points didn't make sense which could very well be it's all just theory speculation none of it's fact uh throughout uh, videos and forum posts throughout the internet. So I try to leave all kinds of credit where it's due, where I got some information in the comments, or not in the comments, in the description. But let me know what you guys think of the demon, what's gonna happen, stuff like that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll probably be posting another video regarding the demon, maybe when a few more videos come out. Um, hoping that we get some more information very, very soon and some exciting information. But uh, yeah, so that's been pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to, to subscribe if you want to see more videos as well as more demon content. Uh, I'll be trying to post more here shortly. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video.